Hey guys, welcome to my script writing video. This is the video where I'm going to show you the script I wrote for my script writing class last week and my creative week. I hope you guys enjoy it. So we start out in the lobby of a 400 year old castle that is in the style of 1920s. It is a big high ceiling lobby containing rugs and couches for sitting, a wooden table with wicker chairs to sit around it, like the table, um, and a phonograph plays a record in the background. The floor is very creaky. <coughs> so, let me just give you background. There's three characters. Andreas is my dad, David is obviously me, and Vimbai is Vimbai. Okay, so Andreas, excited. So this is your new home? Wow, how exciting! David, unimpressed and nervous. Yeah, I guess. Then by overjoyed. So you must be David! <laughs> David. That is correct. Then by. I'm so excited that you're here. We're gonna have such an amazing experience. Then by looks at all the luggage that David has brought with him. Then by surprise. Wow, that's a ton of luggage. Andreas beaming. Yup, we were able to pack his whole wardrobe. <laughs> Andreas slaps David on the shoulder and chuckling. Let's just hope they have room for all this. <laughs> Then by sing song even. Well, I guess you'll just have to wait and see. You won't have to wait too long as we're heading to your room. <laughs> Everyone makes their way to a pair of wooden French doors. David turns to Andreas and loudly whispers, Isn't she a bundle of joy? Over here in one. Then by. Oh why, yes I am. I'm so <laughs> full of joy that I could burst into song. <laughs> David. Really? Well, you don't need to share. Then by. To share? Oh, of course! I would love to share! David, annoyed and distraught by the woman he just met. <laughs> no, please, really, it's okay, you don't have to. Andreas, intrigued. Come on, David, be respectful to them. So you enjoy singing then? Then Yes, I do. I love to sing and to let my voice out. I feel like a caged bird when people don't let me sing. So he starts to get loud and frustrated. And I get very, very angry! realizes she's at the door of David's room. Oh look, we're here. Let me introduce you to... Then my throws open the doors to the new bedroom. The room is large and similar in style to the lobby. It has six bunk beds, large closet space, and a note. Your room, your room, this is your new next room. I hope you will enjoy it. So your room, your room. Andres, singing while looking through closet space. Why yes, this is a lovely room. You should enjoy it so. This room will do just right for you and all your lovely clothes. <laughs> Laura creaks under the weight of, his, of David's foot as he steps into the bedroom. David, unsure about the structure of the building and quite frankly, disappointed. Thanks. Then by seeing that David is not having fun, decides to get them out of the room and to meet the others. Then by, well, um, you can just put your bags here and then get to know your room a bit better later. For now, let's head downstairs and meet everyone and have a ton of fun! <laughs> Andreas, sounds like a great idea! At one scene to David drops his bags on the ground next to his bed. Everyone starts making their way out of the room at different speeds. Vimbai with a pep in her step, Andreas following and David lagging. Andreas slows to talk to David. Andreas, encouraging, whispering. Look at this opportunity around you. How cool is this? You have a room big enough for your stuff and the people here are super passionate about what you're doing? Man, I wish I did something like this when I was your age. You're about to have the time of your life. David, reluctantly and whatever really. Yeah, I guess. Thanks, Papa. On the way out of the lobby, Vimbai stops by a tiny table. It has a mint or two on it. Vimbai, excited. David, would you care for a mint? David, not very hungry. <laughs> no thanks, I'm fine. Vimbai, extremely offended. How dare you refuse a mint? You should never refuse a mint. Singing with horror. What have you done? You disgrace my nation. You disgrace this holy land. How dare you refuse the candy I have put in your hand? I, I cannot believe this horrendous act you have done. Curse to Andreas. Disgrace, disgraceful, is how you raise your son. Then my leaves in horror in a ballet position with arms held high. And Andreas, I left dead in their tracks with utter confusion. The end. Oh my gosh! Thank you.